All right. Hello and thank you for joining me on Facebook Live. Uh, this is BBC Focus on Africa. My name is Hassan Aruni and I'm here with Nir Maram, who is the co-founder and president of uh, Lumos. Lumos is... Uh, uh, a business that supplies solar electricity in parts of Nigeria. Welcome to BBC Focus on Africa and Facebook Live. Thank you for having me. So tell me about your company. What, what do you do in Nigeria exactly? Well, Lumos provides electricity to people who have no access to electricity, people who are off the grid. So in Nigeria, for example, there's 90 million people who have no access to electricity whatsoever. They may be using kerosene, they may be using generators, um, and what we do is provide them with this solar kit. Uh, actually, we do it in partnership with MTN, the largest mobile operator in Nigeria. Um, people go to the MTN shop, they pick up this kit, two boxes, one with the indoor unit and one with the solar panel. They install the panel on the roof, they put the indoor unit in the home, connect the two. The system comes with two, solar, two lanterns. Uh, light bulbs. Light bulbs, sorry. Um, and um, here's the thing. After they connect it, they pick it up for a small commitment fee, very affordable. Um, after they connect to the system, the system is locked. It doesn't manufacture or produce any electricity. When they need electricity, they use their existing mobile airtime account, MTN mobile airtime account, to SMS and to buy days of electricity. So they can... Okay, we'll talk about what it costs and all that, but just talk me through what we have here. This. So this is the solar panel. It's a lar relatively large solar panel that can manufacture that manufactures electricity during the day. The electricity is then stored in the indoor unit in a battery in here. So right now we are indoors. Is it working as we speak? Probably not. The the lighting here is not enough, and uh, to be honest, uh, they're not really connected. Here. <laughs> but but um, the panel is not working, but the battery in here is working. So this grabs the the, the electricity, you know, get, converts the it converts light, light to electricity, and it comes in here. Correct. And here is a battery, um, and here is electronics, and here is a solar modem, which once you pay, you get access to this electricity. So. When you pay with your mobile phone, you have access to the electricity. And since this m is operational already, of course, we can switch on the light. It's very bright. Yes, uh, each one of these lights is, is, is bright enough to, power, to light up nicely a room. Uh, you get it with two lights. Of course, you can buy additional lights um, and light up more than two rooms, or, um, etc. So if I go and get this system, and I'm one of your customers in Nigeria, um, how much power or how much electricity do I have for the day or even for the night? So it, let me give you a few example scenarios because it's a battery. You can, of course, use it in different ways. But a residential scenario would be probably be lighting up two or three rooms uh, for six or seven hours each. On top of this, charging a cell phone. My cell phone is now being charged, so, uh, charging several cell phones every day. On top of this, you can connect a TV, up to 30-inch TV, not one of the big, big monsters, but, but a nice-sized TV. Um, you can connect fans, you can connect radios, uh, things like this. That's residential. Many of our customers are b small businesses and community services. So, for example, we have several hospitals. One of these hospitals that I know personally is using three of these systems to light up 20 rooms uh, throughout the night. Uh, we have businesses extending business hours uh, or, or actually s selling services based on this system. Uh, for example, cell phone charging, uh, selling cell phone charging uh, solutions to, cons to, their to their customers. So if I'm a small businessman, this could give me an income? Yes. Um, um, we have quite a few businesses like this that uh, either extend business hours uh, for their existing um, uh, business, uh, um, a pharmacy uh, that I know that used to close at, um, when, when it became dark, Using a generator was too expensive for him, um, and now he's working many more hours with our system. Um, all businesses based on this, mostly um, around cell phone charging. All right. So you say it's a small fee. When I go to the mobile operator to acquire your system, how much do I pay as a customer? The current fee is 15,000 Naira, which depending on exchange rate is roughly $50 as the commitment fee. And the usage fee depends on how on what package you buy. If you buy a, a 30 day package or a five day package, prices change depending on on the length. But it's roughly 50 uh, cents a day, US dollar cents. 
And once I've committed that money, that usage fee, is the system mine forever? So once you commit them, the, you know, if you commit to 30 days, you get 30 days on the system. And if you can see on, on, on this screen, you can see how many days are left here. It's 27 days and 22 hours. After five years of usage, we open up the system altogether and you get free electricity from that point onwards. For the rest of the life of this for equipment? The rest of the effective life of the system, the panel will live for many more years. The battery will gradually deteriorate, but will continue uh, providing you electricity uh, from, for several more years. What about maintenance? So during the five-year lease to own, it's, it's, it's our objective. If, if the system doesn't work, you will not buy uh, electricity days. And since we get our money from the service, um, it's our incentive to make sure that the system is, works and therefore you get full warranty during these five years. After these five years, the system is yours. If, if there is a problem, you need to maintain it. Uh, we are working with others who can maintain it as, as third-party providers, but um, it's no longer our responsibility. Now, this is designed for people who don't have access to the national grid. Um, so, what sort of people come approach you and buy, you know, buy your equipment or lease your equipment from you? So, we, 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 we typically have three types of customers. We have the ones who are, who are on the grid. Some of our customers are actually on the grid, but with very low quality grid. Um, if you live in Nigeria, in the, uh, if not in the center of the city, you, you may be on the grid, but m may be getting one or two hours of electricity a day, and it's usually in the hours where you don't need the electricity. Um, it may be midday when you need it early in the morning and late in the evening. Um, that's one type. The second type are, are people off-grid, but they are sub, uh, those, the, those in a high level two types of customers. Ones who didn't have electricity whatsoever and were using kerosene and candles. Um, if they were using kerosene and candles, they would probably be paying the same f amount, roughly 50 cents a day, for kerosene and candles and other solutions, um, batteries for flashlights and stuff like this, um, and would be getting, of course, a much worse um, experience. Um, they will not be able to power TV or charge their cell phones. Kerosene is not nice in the house as well. And, and kerosene causes fumes and fires. The other types were you, people who used a generator. Um, and the typical uh, family would not have enough money to use the generator throughout the day. So the typical story would be um, um, using, using the generator for two or three hours um, and then going back to kerosene. Um, and if they're using a generator, the price of the generator, including services and diesel, would for an hour and a half would probably be the same as 24 hours of Lumos. Okay. Now, if you've, you've just joined us, uh, my name is Hassan Aruni, and I'm with uh, Nir Maram, who um, uh, represents Lumos, who provide solar power, um, f uh, portable solar power, people who are off the grid in parts of Nigeria. Currently, how many people are you servicing? We have... We have over 30,000 systems deployed. 30,000. Three zero, which means that over 100,000 people uh, are influenced by this and, and pro hopefully getting a better living. All right. Well, one of our producers here is just helping me get some of the questions and comments that you have been sending. Feel free to send co uh, questions and, and comments to Nir. Yep. And Isaac Nguli Tante says, why must I do things... Why must others do things for Africans? We have to take responsibility for ourselves. Um, ah, this is somebody who thinks this should have been maybe. Anyway, you answer it. Um, we, we, are, we are working in Nigeria with Africans. Many of our uh, people are Africans doing things for Africa. Um, and I call for all Africans to do, to do the same. Now, let's talk about um, y uh, your business. Right now, um, you are servicing, you said you have 30,000 units out, um, but you are set for a big jump. You've just um, got some major financing agreement. Correct. We, we just um, um, announced that we received uh, $90 million of financing, 9 0. Um, and this from, from OPIC, the US um, uh, government, uh, as debt financing and equity financing from a South African firm called Pembani Remgo uh, Investment Managers. Um, this combination of financing will allow us to deploy hundreds of thousands of systems in Nigeria and elsewhere. So you're planning to expand beyond Nigeria? Yes, we are. Um, of course, as, since we work with mobile operators for the distribution and for the billing, um, we, we, are, 
we only we can only um, expand to new territories after signing agreements with mobile operators. We're in the process in several new territories, and once we sign, we will be able to announce this. But why think about? I know it sounds selfish. I mean, it would be good for as many people uh, as possible everywhere to you know to use systems that are cheap. But you have something like 90 million people in Nigeria who don't have access to the um, uh, national grid, national power. I mean, that's a lot of customers to satisfy before thinking of outside Nigeria. So I agree, and, and for that reason, we will deploy most of our, our of our capital in Nigeria in the foreseeable future. But as a business company, we're trying to expand and um, and uh, hedge um, our business. I think we've got some more. Um, uh, ah, <laughs> we've got a uh, um, Tumwine in in Yere in in Uganda who says we need it in you sorry in Uganda he says we need it in Uganda how can we get it <laughs> thank you uh, thank you for asking um as i said before um we are uh, expanding into new territories as you rightfully mentioned you know we cannot expand to 100 new territories all at once uh our, our limiting factor is financing these systems um um, and once we have mobile operators in new territories, we will go there. All Without right. the mobile operator, we cannot. Ju it's not about chipping a system; it's about uh, having the um, operations in place. Yeah, for somebody who's just joined us, just remind us again how the system works. Sure. So, so it's a it's a paper use system. So it's paper use. So it's like a, a top up in terms of topping up your phone. Exactly. So because a system like this will cost. Uh, many hundreds of dollars and will not be affordable to the population, what we do is we give the system for a small commitment fee, which is affordable, and the people use, on, pay on a daily basis for the usage, and they pay using their mobile airtime. Um, and therefore, it becomes affordable because it's cheaper than existing alternatives like kerosene and diesel generators. All right. Um, let me just see what else we're getting. Uh, yep. And this is John Cosgrove. What does a unit for a normal family home cost in dollars? So the unit, as I said before, is a, made of a commitment fee of $50, $50 roughly, um, and then a usage fee of 50 cents a day, roughly, depending. If you buy longer periods, it's cheaper. If you buy shorter periods, it's a bit more expensive. And what do I get for that? Um, you get the ability to light several rooms, you get the ability to charge your cell phones, you get the ability to power TV, a fan, radio, any other device, small devices, not refrigeration, refrigeration as of yet, uh, but hopefully in the near future. Thank you. Are we getting... Uh, all right. I think um, we've got quite a lot out of this. Um, so, plans are that you will expand. All the best, uh, Nir. Um, thank you very much for coming to talk to us at BBC Africa. Thank you for having me and um, looking forward to n announcing the Million Systems. And thank you very much for joining us. My name is Hassan Aruni. Have a very nice day.